All right, so now we're going to move on to a, an application of sloping of equations and sloping and such form. So now we have a property that was purchased for $60,000 and with a promise to pay $16,500 in interest over a 60 month period or a five year period. All right. Now, why is your remaining balance of that $76,500? You're going to reduce your loan by $1,275 each month. So remember, highlight your terms. The loan amount or your initial value, okay, uh, is $76,500. You're reducing that loan every month by $1,000. $275. Now your equation, all right, is y equals $76,500, and you can put a dollar sign, minus the $1,275 payment times so many months. All right, so now we're going to take that real life situation and we're going to model just a little bit. Um, I'm going to answer some key questions. So let's walk our way through this. All right, now we want to find the x and y intercept of the graph of this linear equation. We want to interpret the intercepts in the context of the problem. Um, and then we want to limit our x and y based on this of this model. And then we want to use the intercepts and the results from part C to sketch the graph. And then finally, we're not, we, want, we want to find the slope of the line using the intercept. But that's kind of given to us. But we'll walk, walk our way through each part um, individually. So let's, let's go with part A. All right, so A was, we want to find the X and Y intercepts. So remember, you've got an equation. So 76,500. So $76,500 minus $1,275 times X. All right. So now your X intercept. And then let's put, let's put the Y intercept here. All right. Now remember definitions, and that's what students tend to get in trouble is they get don't focus so much on the equation. The equation won't make sense if you can't apply the definitions to answer the question. So x intercepts, we know y is equal to zero. So we're just simply going to say zero equals $76,500 minus $1,275 times x. Now, from the very beginning, this is an application problem. So y was the account balance, okay? X is the number of months that you need to pay for the life of the loan. So if I read the, the, the problem statement, I already know my answer for my, my X intercept, which is time, right? And then the unit is in, they gave us months. So before I, now I'm gonna do it by hand, just to verify, but they told me in the problem statement that my answer, it needs to be 60. But let's verify. So we substitute zero. Uh, we can move this 1275x to the left side of the equation. All right, and then all we need to do is we end up with 1275x equals 76,500. You divide by 1275. And guess what? X equals 60. So we know it, it takes a, it's going to take five years to pay this loan off or 60 months. Now, so now when you answer the question, if they ask you for time in years, you convert your 60 month to years. But since they 
this model is based on the number of months. So the 60. Y intercept. Right, by definition for y intercept, y equals $76,500. You can take minus 1275, you know, x is zero. All right, so that goes away. So our initial balance is $76,500, which makes sense. Okay, so that was the first question. Question B was interpret the intercepts in the context of the problem. We kind of did that. All right, your x-intercept, you could, some people call it the life of the loan, which simply means how long it took to pay off. So, or you could just simply say number of payments. Uh, y intercept is simply the loan amount plus interest, which was that sixty thousand dollars plus that sixteen thousand dollars, six sixteen thousand five hundred dollars. All right, real simple. All right, C. Simply says, how should X and Y be limited in this model so that they make sense with respect to the application? Real simple. All right. I know, you know, X can only be between zero and 60, right? Because I'm not going to make, I've agreed to, to make 60 payments. So I can't go more than that, all right? So I can I can actually speed it up in real life. You can you can speed up your payments um, if there's no prepayment penalty, all right? But for the for our purposes, we're gonna say we can't. Is our payments have to be in between zero and sixty, all right? Why? All right. Of course, we can only make we can make no payments, and at the most, we can pay off. We're not going to pay more than what we agreed to, so that's $76,500, okay? So that's how you would limit your function. All right, and then D, it says use the intercepts to graph. So I'm going to pull up a graph and show you um, what actually, what this graph actually looks like. So, so here's the graph. Okay, now notice a couple things. Um, at 60 months, you got a zero. So you got an X intercept there. And then on this Y axis, at $76,500, you have a, an intercept. So that makes sense. So that's what your graph should look like. All right, so we did D. And then E, find the slope. The slope is simply what you're paying down every month. So now we could use the intercepts, but they gave it to us. We know we're making $1,275 payments each month. And that's an application of equations or equations of lines and slope intercept forms.